folks, this is your friend Mongo. Today I'm going to be talking about this figure right here. This is the Playmates Toys Kong with Battle Axe. This is, uh, of course, a toy for the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Folks, personally, I have a few other Kong figures in my collection. One of them is the Mezco Kong of Skull Island, and the other is a random uh, gorilla toy that I found off Amazon. But he looks pretty cool. He looks really mean. But folks, let's take a look at this guy. We're talking about Kong, of course. So let's talk about Kong with Battle Axe. He's a very nice figure. Let's take a little look here at the uh, box here. And we'll kind of speed through this thing. And out of the box, this Kong is looking good. Initially, I thought he looked a little tiny, a little undersized. But in fact, he is in the 6-inch scale. And of course, unfortunately, these other two Kong figures are rather large. They are more likely in the 7-inch scale. Although, you know, the random gorilla toy on the uh, right-hand side, it could be for anything, really. But that's something to consider. Moving on, we'll kind of take a look at the articulation of this guy in super speed. And the articulation of this guy, especially on his arms and legs, are surprisingly nice. It's pretty good for a kid's toy. And I think you can really be pleasantly surprised by this guy. The one point that I think is a little lacking is the head. Just due to the size of it, it can't really look up or down. It can only rotate. And looking at the paint on this guy, I gotta say, it pretty good the face and chest are very dark and the eyes are in a almost orangish red color almost a brick color actually which does kind of give Kong a bit of a evil evil demonic look to him but he also comes with some accessories he has a little pound of flesh here that you can attach to his wound to uh, simulate battle damage now, personally, if I was a kid, I'd probably lose this, or I'd probably throw this away, or I might even try to eat this, so that's something to consider. I have a little bit of a paint smudge there, a little bit of red on his fur, but we can make that work. It's just some more, some more blood, blood battle damage, you know. Other than that, he also comes with a pretty neat uh, feature here comes with a lovely little battle axe. The axe is really simple. You just fit it into his rubber hand here and he holds on to it pretty well once you get it into that hand. Overall this is a pretty good uh, hand to use because it's very rubbery and you're not gonna worry too much about bending or breaking your fingers here. They're all one pretty flexible piece here and you combine this with the articulation of this guy and he's a pretty fun figure to have and real quick I wanted to try and put my little Andaro figure into his hand this Andaro came with the Mezco Kong of Skull Island figure and at first you're gonna really need to work the fingers of this uh, Kong figure to get Andaro in there and of course you want to be careful you don't want any of the paint to rub off or any of the color from Kong's hand to rub onto Andero's dress. But, I gotta say, it's not a bad figure, and that's kind of the theme here with this toy. It's a nice figure for a kid. I love this as a kid. It's very reminiscent of some of the Trendmaster toys of the days of yore, and I gotta say, overall, you'd see this in a store for 10 bucks, might as well buy it, because it's a pretty nice figure. You get some pretty nice poses, you can do some fun stuff with it. Other than the few flaws it has, I say it's a winner. So folks, that's the end of the video right there. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you had some fun. Hopefully you got a little bit of insight and knowledge on this toy from this video. And folks, I'm Mongo, and I'll see you later next time. Bye-bye.